The government is reptilian overlords. Joe Rogan is in on it. Elon Musk is in on it. Tiger Woods is in on it. You can check my story. I've been messaging them. I am forgetting and knowing that is how I created the plan. I can't do the plan if I knew it the whole time because I'd be cracking up. So I make myself forget I am infinitely intelligent so I can make Connor Murphy was once the fitness golden child. His clever way of combining social pranks with showing off his impressive physique helped him become the fastest growing fitness YouTuber ever, amassing an audience of over 4 million subscribers in only two years. I met Connor Connor about four years ago and we quickly became good friends and filmed together often. However, two years ago, Connor shocked the industry by engaging in a series of bizarre behavior like posting hour-long rants on his YouTube channel, faking his own death, and even live streaming a 40-day fast, ultimately landing him in and out of psych wards. This is my first time meeting with Connor since I picked him up from the psych ward nearly two years ago. So we're here at the meeting spot and I haven't seen Connor in nearly two years and I'm kind of nervous. It's like, I don't know if he's gonna be the same person as like who he was two years ago or like before that when I met him. Cause that's like the guy that I know and love and I just have no idea. But um, I'm excited to meet him, man. Like it'd be good to see my buddy, so. Let's go meet Connor. He said he was here, it's so weird. Like he texted me, <laughs> he said he was here. Like I have no idea where he could be. He's certainly not hiding behind that cactus with that bright red shirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, wow. Scare me, buddy. What's up, it was good to see you, man. You're filming? I figured you were going to yeah. film. You were filming. Yeah, I yeah. tried to be interesting hiding behind the cactus. <laughs> I hope that helped. Okay. It was very interesting, yeah. That was good, man. <laughs> Dude, you're still, like, very muscular. Um, well, I've gained a lot of muscle back. How much are you up to these days? It's like 200, 205, so I have a little ways to go, but I'm about to hop on a bunch of shit. Like what? Like to pest around and stuff. Derek sent me a bunch of shit, dude. Really? Yeah. I have that at the house, so I think I'm thinking about <laughs> starting it. No way. Got her, got her. <laughs> what do you got over there? Got her. Don't play do need, camera, bro. I need to make another to, call. I'm trying to make them believe that I'm sober, dude. Come on. Why do you think I've been doing my old videos, man? I'm trying to make them think I'm sober. Don't put this on camera. All right. 5150. <laughs> You've done it now. You're going to have an advantage on me. You want a caffeine thing? 200 milligrams? No. Maybe, like I'll, maybe I'll get like a energy drink or something. First, we filmed a strength competition for my second channel where the loser had to shave their head. So be sure to watch that after this. It's super funny. And then I had the chance to ask Connor all the burning questions we've all had over the past couple years. Years, and I did not hold back. I actually came prepared and I'm bearing gifts from if my heart. If it's not ayahuasca, I don't really care about it, man. Better. Okay. A divine protein shake. Bro, that's not cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cooler if it was actually your divine protein shake. <laughs> we can make that happen. That'd be funny to add a little bit of us like standing in the bathroom. We're like, hey, you're gonna go in the bathroom. Stuff. Bro, thank you. I'm actually gonna drink this shit. Yeah, man. go for it. I mean, I hope it's still cool, but you know, no, I'm thirsty. I just thought you might like that. <laughs> so, tell me, do you regret that? I know you got a lot of hate. A lot of people were not very happy about that. So let me get this straight, Brett. What on earth is wrong with drinking the Divine Protein Shake? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, and I'm sorry, guys. Like, I don't care. Like, if he wants to drink the Divine Protein Shake, do it. Like, we drink cow's milk. 100%, there's no way that it's <laughs> bad for you in any way if it's placebo you're still getting a, be a benefit from it right you're getting hydrated <laughs> i was trying to do something very dramatic that would really get people saying what the fuck is going on <clears throat> and really get people talking about it so you know that i did this whole storyline about insinuating the possibility of me being gay mm -hmm. and then streaking mm -hmm. at the u.s open for gay pride mm -hmm. I thought it would be this cool kind of social justice stunt. I was doing this act where my my family disowned me for being gay. I had this whole new family. It was actually the family that who was, was that host, family? Family that was hosting an Airbnb, right, right before the U.S. Open. Yeah. So it was just the family that was hosting the Airbnb, and I was like, hey, you want to do this? Oh, so you were just like renting a room or something? Yeah. Right? And I was like, hey, you want to do this bit where like my family disowned me for being gay, and you guys can be my new family? And it's like, sure. I guess a lot of people don't understand that not everything on YouTube is is real, and I'm I'm in no everything. way. No. Stop it. You're kidding me. We'll everything is real. I watch Phase Rug all the time, all that shit's real. So a lot, a lot of people were very scared for you initially when you went missing and you wrote a suicide note and you disappeared. Do you feel bad about any of that? It's tough. I do 
on a on a on a relative level. Yeah, man, there are people who were like worried about me and I certainly don't want people to suffer. I certainly have compassion for a lot of people and so if people suffered and they were like really worried about me, yeah, I'm like yeah, sure. I feel bad, but I also think that it could spread a lot of good once you actually realize what I was doing. I didn't think that as many people would take it so seriously as they did. But and you can understand how you were posting completely abnormal stuff on your YouTube. No yeah. one knew what state of mind you were in. Like No one knew what's real and what's not and what to take seriously. So yeah. somebody who is basically kamikazing their career on YouTube that's good for point. them to say that they're acting and then for them to disappear and leave a suicide note, they, they're not gonna probably take the acting part seriously. Interesting. The YouTube's been declining a long time. The Connor Murphy shirtless thing, that was actually the first act. I've never been actually at my core some guy that would go around in real life and take off his shirt I actually know and that. try and get girls. Yeah. So my question is, is are you acting now? Really, Brett. I would much rather talk in this accent Oh, and talk a God. lot more confidently and be a lot more expressive in my speech. But people would seem to believe that this might be a little crazy Yo. because they're not used to this whatsoever. I don't know. That creepy fucking voice again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, to be honest, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's, like, there's a part of me that kind of wants Is to... Is that true, though? You would prefer to talk in that voice? I don't know, man. Like, sometimes. Okay. Because you, you did that for quite some time. Okay, so here. So to be honest, like, me and Tyler went out last night and we talked to some girls, and I spent the whole night talking in that voice because it was fun. I've done that too. It's more yeah. expressive. The idea of acting eccentric for people to see, from the outside world to see, and learning not to give a fuck about what other people think, it's the most empowering and freeing thing ever. Okay, so, so it'd be like, Brett, my master, please give me your divine protein shake, Brett, please. I don't know, something like that. Something like crazy, There's right? A for the video. <laughs> you know, yeah, like back in the intro. Like, could you do that back to me right now? Yeah, sure. Could you? Yeah. Uh, try try it. Connor, master, can you give me your divine protein, please? See, that's impressive as fuck. So that is that impressive. That's really good, right? No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, look at how that elevated your mood and you already feel more free. Already yeah, feel no, more free. Yeah, no, no. Like, I, I walked around with fake boobs for a day, that's just, like, I never felt so confident. Thank you, bro. I was waiting for this. I came prepared. This is one of the bits that I wanted to do. Oh, God. I this don't know perfect. anything about this either. I love how this is going, bro. Amber Heard probably does this shit, bro. Instead, <laughs> instead of methanol, I got some peppermint oil. It's supposed to make me tear up a little bit. Man, I mean, maybe it's true, dude. Like, I embarrassed my fucking family in front of the whole fucking internet. I lost all my fucking money, dude. I had this amazing fucking career. I was a fucking man, bro. I was a fucking man. And I just pissed it all the fuck away, dude. I just pissed it all the fuck away. And I still fuck three girls a day and I'm still not fucking happy, dude. Give this man an Oscar. Bro, fuck, that hurts. Yeah. Dude, that hurt my eyes so Does bad. Do you, do you want to wash it out? Yeah, yeah wash it out. Okay, I'll cut it. Act okay. two. Oh. Just kidding, I'm fine. No, I didn't really <laughs> That's really good. That's good, buddy. This felt this way up here. Careful. Well, Connor, I don't know what's upset you, but I want to cheer you up. I want to make you happy, so I think we'll go to the gym and get a little workout in. Yeah, it's cool, man. I think it's gonna look like I've been crying the rest of the video. You know this what? peppermint oil is burning the fuck out of me, but uh, let's, <laughs> let's go let's go sweat it out. Let's, yeah, let's, let's get some out. eye thank, sweat going. Thank you for doing that. That was great. Question that's been brewing in my mind. So, you went from having sex with three girls a day to having no sex for like 70 plus days. It's okay, you can... Let it out. Why did you decide to do that? And why did you feel the need to have sex with three girls a day? So, when you say the phrase three girls a day, I'm assuming you're referring to the only time that I have claimed that, which is during the goodbye video, which I think you understand by now is an act. Did people take it seriously that I was actually fucking, on average, three girls every day? Because that is a way bigger story. That's like, I mean, that. That's some world-class shit right there, you know what I mean? So it's not true. 
You're okay. denying it. It may have happened before, okay. but how I said it, like on average, of course not. I've talked to so many, mostly young guys, or seen comments on videos, and so many guys looked up to you, and you got them into fitness, and they thought, I want to be just like him, and then to see you go down the path that you went down the past two years, it actually hurt them, and caused them like emotional pain. What do you say to those guys? Or do you feel any type of way? I say that you should examine that pain and see the positivity behind it. So I actually, one of the reasons why I wanted to switch up my content is I actually started feeling kind of guilty. I started realizing that these guys started taking what I was doing, uh, like they wanted to be like me. They wanted to be this guy that got all these girls just from their physique. They wanted this superficial level of happiness that I knew would just cause them misery in the long run, right? Yeah, to be honest, you know, everyone's saying like, Oh, Connor, he's back. He's doing so well. You know what I mean? Bro, I'm doing a lot worse than I was at like the peak of doing all my wild stuff on, on YouTube. And that's why I want to get back to that. You have no idea how freeing it is to express emotions and do these little acting things and doing so in a way as an exercise to not giving a fuck about what people think. I had to go back to doing those videos so people would be like, okay, like maybe is actually okay. Yeah. That sucks. I hate doing those videos. Okay. <clears throat> yep, good job. All the way up. <clears throat> all the way up. <clears throat> Come on, all the way up. <clears throat> explode. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna explode, dude. Appreciate you it. Spot, bro? Oh, gotcha. of course. Thank you. Got you. <clears throat> Come on, give me a couple more. Uh, this kind of feels like three Saudi yoga, bro. Like three more. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, yeah. Nice job, man. Oh, <clears throat> How'd that feel? It's a good workout, huh? Yeah, great workout. <laughs> you, like, you like those, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Connor, that was a great workout. You're looking mighty pumped, but you might be wondering why we're here in front of this fire. Well, that's actually strategic, because I'm coming in and putting you on the hot seat, okay? I'm asking ah, you some spicy questions. I'm feeling it, man. Are you ready? Always ready. Did you really take ayahuasca every two hours? So, <laughs> Uh, this was definitely something that I did not expect uh, everyone to take so seriously. Uh, that was a rumor that I myself created. Uh, be a Kardashian. Or how possible that even is. And let me tell you, I certainly have taken it. I had quite the profound experience in, in Joshua Tree in an actual real ceremony, mm -hmm. right? And that was a completely deep and profound experience, a completely otherworldly experience that of course I can't describe in words. And it's something that really made me know, hey, this is the direction that I need to go. There is something deeper and I definitely want to keep pursuing this freedom type stuff. I'm, I'm certainly, I'm probably not the same person that I would be if I had never had the experience. I will say that I may have never gone down this route. It probably did completely change me permanently as a person, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you know of this YouTuber, Sunny V2, mm -hmm. made a viral video about you? Did you watch it? Oh yeah. How do you feel about that? I love do, you, do you have a response at all? Well, first of all, I love it when people make videos of me. That was. That's kind of the whole point. Like, I, I wanted... There's the old Connor. Right. Uh, no, of course, part of me being a YouTuber is like, I do want things to go viral. Now, I, I also wanted the videos out there that, you know, maybe looked at me in a more positive light. Not even for my own validation, just for spreading a, you know, a positive message, right? Mm -hmm. He definitely got some things incredibly wrong, as did... I, I mean, most, that as well. Yeah. Most people, like, uh, he said I lost weight because I was addicted to <laughs> yeah. a drug. When actually I did yeah. I didn't eat for 40 days. I did a 40 day fast. Which, by the way, I don't know if anyone got that or not. Obviously, that was part of the whole Jesus character. Oh, yeah. Mi uh, mystical Jesus character, kind of showing that some of the things, like, a 40 day fast is actually a, a human thing. It's not some sort of divine thing that it can actually be done. And that's why I sure. live streamed everything, you know. I mean, that's actually a practice in the East where. People, that's actually a fairly normal thing. Not mm -hmm. necessarily that long, but people do use fasting in order to, as like a spiritual practice, in order to, you know, it has profound effects on, on the mind. This is a bl blistering hot one. Did you really sleep with a transgender person? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I had an experience with a transgender person, yeah. I don't know. I like, again, I, here's the thing, man. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that's necessarily bad at, bad at all, or even like an, an embarrassing question, yeah. And that, that was part of it too, I've said that that was kind of part of the whole gay storyline, is like, I, I was hoping, yeah, I was hoping people would put that together. Yeah. It's, it's like, uh, there was this whole kind of storyline where I really wanted to like be bisexual, right? Because you get the best of both worlds, you have 
uh, more options. You know, girls, they, they play too many games, man, you know, uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I, I am straight. If you had intimate relations with Hulk Hogan, let's say you had a vagina, but you yeah. had intimate relations with Hulk Hogan, but Hulk just Hogan a vagina, right? Yeah. Or you had, or, or you had sex with Megan Fox, but she had a penis. Megan Fox with a penis, way less gay. Way less gay. That's that's extremely. You know what I mean. If you if you are that uncomfortable with your sexuality, where you say that Hulk Hogan with a vagina is less gay, that's some serious cognitive distortion. I, I hate to tell you. You know what I mean. Sure. So it's like, yeah. all right, Connor, me, your friend. I expect complete honesty. Have you ever done steroids? You, you know what's funny, man? Uh, I, I just admitted to having uh, intimate relations with a, with a transgender woman. Uh, uh, it, it seems quite obvious that I'm quite open to a lot of different things, and I, I seem like a pretty open-minded individual. I would definitely admit if I were on, or were on, anabolic steroids or not. In fact, I, I'm not even, at the moment, selling any fitness stuff right now, dude. I would have loved to have told the story uh, to blow people's minds that I w was on an anabolics. In fact, I, I considered actually saying it as like an act. Like, is ashwagandha, a concentrated ashwagandha in a pill that you could never get in actual nature if you're a caveman? That's at least a little bit unnatural. That I think we know it. They're, getting, they're not talking about ashwagandha. Come on. Well, no, right, of course, but it gets, you know, it, it gets even weirder than that. What about finasteride? I mean, that actually has a significant effect on an anabolic hormone, DHT. Now, most people would say that that's negative, but it does increase testosterone. I think overall it probably hurts your anabolic progress because mm -hmm. DHT is a very anabolic compound, but I was on that as well. And I'm completely yeah. open, like, but, but I'm sorry, man. Some people are just completely wrong about, yeah, about like what I've taken, man. Again, I, I don't want people to think that the physique is everything and that that's the key to happiness, you know? I mm -hmm. wanted to show that I was not attached to the physique and that that was, and also the whole Jesus storyline, right? So there's a lot. Each little thing that I did usually had a couple different meanings that I hope that people would pick up on. It's been quite the journey you've been on. It was quite the roller coaster to watch. But uh, I'm happy you're here now. I'm happy uh, to reconnect with you, man. Yeah, and um, also it's certainly not over. It's certainly not over. I think, great. <laughs> I think the best is, is yet to come. I wanted to take a break for a while and just do some normal stuff. But I think that I'm going to, and again, maybe not. I still haven't decided, man. Maybe I'll quit YouTube and just go be a monk, to be honest. Who knows? But the plan right now is to start incorporating more of the esoteric stuff. It, uh, it should be fun. Hopefully I can do it in a way that makes a little more sense. I would like to see that too. Yeah. But I will watch on the edge of my seat, eager eyes. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Well, thanks for uh, doing this video with me. I really appreciate it. And I love you, man. I'm happy. Uh, happy yeah, to I love you too. It's good you. to yeah. It's good to have, make a trip back <clears throat> here. It was fun. You're watching. Give me a hug. <laughs> All right.